As our world becomes increasingly digitized, so does our ability to connect with it. Imagine if you could search your surroundings the same way you search the web. Using existing cameras and advances in AI, we can now find things and people in the real world in real time and take action to improve safety and well-being. When a dangerous spill occurs in a chemical plant, cameras recognize the incident. Information about the spill is instantly shared with the people who need it the most, enabling them to protect other employees from coming in contact with the hazard and clean it up. This technology can also help keep people safer in hospitals. Patients recovering from heart surgery are limited to how much they should exert themselves. When someone exceeds the prescribed level of activity, a nurse is alerted. What's more, the location of the closest wheelchair is identified so that the nurse can quickly get the patient seated and safe. This technology is also useful in an environment like a construction site, where people who need specialized tools are spread out, sometimes across multiple floors. Using cameras already in place, this technology can identify a specific tool, as well as the closest authorized person who can deliver it, saving everyone time and keeping the workflow moving. The digital and physical worlds are coming together to help make everyone more safe, secure, and productive. And we're bringing the edge of Microsoft's cloud to any device. Good morning, everybody. So let's take a look at how you can digitize real-world environments like what we just saw in the video. As Satya said, today we're going to show you a solution that we've built using Microsoft Azure Stack, Azure Functions, cognitive services, and commodity cameras that make this a reality. In a highly controlled environment like a construction site, being able to track equipment, people, and what they're doing is critical to workplace safety. So the first thing I want to show you is over to your right, where we have a construction yard, and you're going to see Yana is working. Using our technology right now, both people and object recognition models are currently deployed in that construction yard. And then on the screen there before you, you can see the solution is recognizing Yana in real time, as well as equipment like the green jackhammer on the floor there. Now, over next door to your left is a workshop space which is where Ayuba is working. And right now with our technology, only people recognition is deployed in that space. So we're gonna start by searching for an object using this phone. Let's say I wanna find a jackhammer. I'm gonna type, where is a jackhammer? If I could spell it, I'll type it, there we go. Now you can see, even though there is actually a jackhammer resting against the bench in Ayuba's workshop, the system doesn't see it, but it does find the one next door, which again is where we have both people and object recognition deployed. The system is gonna let me do things like find who's trained to use that jackhammer and also who last used it. And so that means I can actually use this technology to ensure my project is meeting health and safety regulations. And so in order to do that, I'm gonna deploy an object recognition model in the workshop. But before I do, take note again of that jackhammer in Ayuba's workshop. It is resting vertically against the bench, which is actually a very unsafe position for such a large, heavy object to be in. Um, and so I've already gone ahead and I've tagged that jackhammer in a variety of safe and unsafe positions in the system. And so when I update this pipeline, which I'm going to do right now, it's not only going to see the jackhammer now, but it is also going to tell me it's in an unstable orientation, and it's going to notify Ayuba, so he's able to very quickly resolve the issue. The solution is running more than 27 million recognitions per second across people, objects, and activities, both in the yard and in the workshop, and we're making changes to the solution in real time in the cloud and deploying it to the edge which is a great example of how we can stretch the cloud to create a mesh of interconnected devices and services. So now, imagine if we could take that a step further, recognizing people and then applying a set of policies to them to ensure workplace safety. 
Over in the construction yard, we have a new employee, Christina, who is showing up for her first day of work. So I'm going to go ahead and onboard her into the system just by using this phone again and typing a simple command. Show me non-employees on the job site. Now, because this is a highly controlled environment and health and safety is so imperative, there are cameras already deployed on that job site. And so they have already captured her photo, and that makes it very easy to onboard her. I can just click on her picture, new person, and go ahead and enter her information. OK, so now she's onboarded. And now I can create a new policy to enforce that credentialed employees can do things like use jackhammers. So I'm going to type a policy. Only credentialed employees can use jackhammers. OK, the new policy has been activated. And so now she can just go about her job, and I won't get any policy violations, which means my regulations are being met. Now, if somebody who is not authorized to use that equipment comes onto the construction yard, a workflow is going to notify me and people nearby of a potentially dangerous situation. <laughs> like that one, for example. <laughs> You can see the violation's been triggered, and Christine is able to quickly resolve it. Now, this was an intentionally simple scenario, but examples like this one and the ones you saw in the video are all based on real customer requirements, and they support even more complex business processes using cognitive services, Azure Functions, Azure Stack, and commodity cameras to bring the edge of Microsoft's cloud to any device. The intelligent edge is the interface between the computer and the real world. And so we have just shown you how you can search the real world for people, objects, and activities and apply policies to them to improve health and safety. It's early days, but we are really excited for the potential of AI for workplace safety. And with this technology, we think you have an opportunity to build even more sophisticated solutions that have the power to transform entire industries. And we'll share more over the next 12 months. Thank you.